are under the age of 18, do not watch this video. I promise Fishing you, over the stupid not shit. Time. Running your crib. Smack your bitch. Spilling your pack. Nigga, you're mad. Here's a song movie featuring J Trinity. You already know it's your boy, that's a savage. She love my body and she like it how I move it. You know what's the vibe when you fucking with the movement Hit it one time, she try and get into it Baby, yeah. I ain't playing, so let's go and make a movie Say she love my body and she like it how I move it. You know what's the vibe when you fucking with the movement Hit it one time, she try and get into it Baby, I ain't playing, so let's go and make a movie Yeah, yeah, yeah Say she like it when I'm deep up in it Back here in the hot box room with uh, I guess a savage feel it's been a long time coming. We got a, a special guest, Don't Do Me. Oh, yeah, we got a big Scooby. Um, this is Bo's channel, Free Brother, bro. who will be home soon. This is like Suffer, bro. Free him, free him. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, so Gus the Savage, has it always been Gus the Savage? No, it hasn't. Um, so like before I was Gus the Savage, I used to go by a whole bunch of different rap names. Until like I married the name Gus the Savage. Married it. Wipes it up. Uh, yeah, facts. Like, I, and I married it in 2015 because I I had a girlfriend at the time. Girlfriend, girl, girl. And I played her a uh, song that I did. It was like a remix to Straight Outta Compton. Fine. And she was like, "My boyfriend's a savage." And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Gus the Savage." <laughs> Boom. And then ever since then, it's just been Gus the Savage. That's what it's called. Yeah, for me, bro, it's Gus the Savage. I don't know what else to call you, bro. Every time I try to change my name, people are like, no, don't do it. Like, yeah. you made a name for yourself with Gus the Savage. I'm like, all right. I yeah. think it's pretty corny, but fuck it. Fuck but my stuff. name stuck with me, too, bro. So uh, when did you start making music? Uh, I started making music when I was 11 years old. So, like, I've been doing it for about... 10 years going on 11. Was you in the stew in like middle school and high school? Nah, I was um, on my phone and my other phone, either of that, or I was on my phone and I was on the computer speakers. Okay, so it would be like the beat or the speakers and then voice memo type shit. <laughs> yeah, it, my first song was uh, Started From The Bottom Remix and that shit was garbage. Oh my god. <laughs> I heard it like not too long ago and I was like, what was I thinking? Like, yeah, I want to hear that. Yo, son, <laughs> back then I thought that shit was fire. That I was, was like, yo, this shit is hard. <laughs> and then I heard it and I was like, yo, I was tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, Sadiq be with you. This is music for Bulldog. Bro, shout out to Sadiq. <laughs> Freaky Diggy. I don't even know where he's at. He, he knows where he lives. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he is. Um, I've seen many pictures. You've done some shows. I feel like you've done a, a lot of them to me. How many have you done? What was your first one? Uh, my first like big show was at the school talent show, and That's that was when I first moved at here. At Riverside. Yes. Bro, I went to those shows like it was like the, my bad for the senior cheerleaders thing. They go hard, bro. Oh, they're they're, they're oh, fire. I'm not Riverside gonna lie. Is crazy. Yeah. So my first show was at the talent show and that had like 800 plus people yeah. in the audience and that was the first time I performed in front of a huge crowd and then for the rest of my time there I did the talent shows um, again 800 plus crowds every time it was amazing. After high school, I started doing open mics at the V spot. Okay, you was getting out there. Yeah, and and that's when it really started to kick off because the V spot, um, when when the guy who ran the open mic is there, he does a live stream. Yeah. So I started to get attention from the live stream, and then that's when I started to get into Stage West for like hip hop and R and B nights. I started to do 
uh, openings for artists who were bigger than me. I started doing award shows and shit like that. That's it was crazy. Fuck, like, bro. And that was 2019. Bro, I sit outside the the V spot and go to the law truck sometimes, yeah. bro. And I'll be seeing the V spot. I'm like, bro, I'm in there when I can't get in there. When you <laughs> get in there, bro, you better get in there. Shout out to Vinny, bro. That's lit. Um, all right, so speaking of Riverside, I saw a picture. Were you in the drama club or in a show? Yeah. So what yeah, was right. it? I ain't fucking ashamed to say I was. Now that's lit, lit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was in middle in, uh, school. I used to do that. I was uh, in Footloose. I was like one of the main characters. I was Chuck Cranston. That's and, lit. And I played the badass. <laughs> and I, honestly, bro, that shit was lit. Yeah. Like that shit was lit. Um, that's where I, where I got my acting experience. That's where I, I got my drama experience. Yeah, they go from. hard for that. That's right? where I met the love of my life. For like, real? For real. That's for real. Lit. Hell yeah. Like, that's crazy. Um, I seen on SoundCloud, like, I was just checking out your music, and, um, you've worked with Steezy PA a lot. And he produced some of your stuff. Steezy PA. Um, he's done that with KK and many other people I've had in here. What's your relationship with, uh, Steezy? My like, relationship with Steezy? Um, I met him. I believe, like, through Snapchat, like, I, somebody posted him that he was, like, a producer, an engineer, mm -hmm. and I was yeah. like, yo, he's got a nice setup. He had it, this is when he had it in his crib. Yeah. And I hit him up, and I was like, yo, bro, like, I'm trying to do a, a studio session. He was like, yeah, bro, it's whatever, come down to the crib and green room, whatever, boom. So I go, my first time in there, I record, like, four songs. This is when I start to like play with my vocals a little bit. Like, yeah. I'm starting to find my sound at this time. And Steez is one of the people who that has helped me find my style. Like yeah. he's the one that helped me like <coughs> find my melodies and shit like that. So I say my relationship with Steez is pretty good. Like he was like my main go to producer before I got like my own shit in yeah. my crib. So the relationship I got with Steez is definitely one that I cherish the most. Like That's his really family, his family welcomed me into the crib. Like I've stood over plenty of times. Oh, yeah, you the, yeah, know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Steez. I definitely look forward to working with him soon again. We got, we got some shit coming. That's Hopefully, right. I gotta hit him up. I was at his um, his, I don't know if it's a, but his spot in Delmore. Mm -hmm. I was there with KK. It was it was nice. He he'd be going hard. Hell yeah, bro! Actually, I've been there too. I've been to the new studio. That shit's yeah, hard. Yeah. Um, I saw another picture, uh, back to Riverside. You played baseball? Yes, you I play, did. You played the other sport? What position you play? Um, so, my baseball career was pretty scarce, um, considering the fact that I didn't play as many games as everybody else. Okay. Um, I don't know if it was because I wasn't good enough to be on the field, or if it was a favoritism kind of thing, but I did play. Mm -hmm. I was right field in the outfield and it was like it was the best time of my life because yeah. when i did get to play i would either get hit by a pitch or <laughs> I, not that ass my first at bat i swear to god i go swing swing twice i'm like okay this third one i'm cranking the fuck out of it <laughs> soon as he pitched it boom that shit hit me in the leg i did a little pretend i was like ah and then i looked at him <laughs> I looked at him with a straight face and I fucking took my base. Everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's for. Facts. And then the last game we ever played, I got in, I got walked, and then somebody made a hit. I got all the way to third. Somebody hit again. I made it home. We were up eight zip. <laughs> Coach put in somebody who hadn't seen the bullpen for the entire season through the whole game away. Y'all lost the eight zero? We, and guess who we lost to? Who was it? Holy... Cross. Oh, bro, they be losing their sports programs, so it's crazy. Oh, my God. Nah, it was, yeah, it was definitely fun, though. It was, it was fun. Hell, yeah, it was sad, but it was fun. That was the last game I ever played. I'd be having a really tough crazy. Drop it in the tub, it's over. Oh, <laughs> All right, um, the other side, I saw you had um 2020 Steam Town Music Award Album of the Year. How was that, and congrats to that. That's lit. Um, Zamir was like, is he dead ass? Like, he dead ass like that? <laughs> award I got was the Hip Hop Music Award, uh, Hip Hop Artist of the Year Award in 2019. Oh, shit. Couple months after that, I went to this award show called the 57 Music Show Award, and I got Best Original Artist there. Fire. Waited a couple months, they reannounced the Town Music Awards, COVID edition, 2020. I was like, all right, we in there. <laughs> I'm dropping an album, and it's going to 
gonna be album of the year. Yeah. And I submitted for album of the year. So you're expecting. I, I submitted for a couple of things. I yeah. wasn't expecting. No, no, no. I wasn't. But when I got all my votes up, like I got the People's Choice. Somebody else got like the main. Yeah, award, yeah, yeah. But people's I got choice. the People's Choice because yeah. I got the most votes. Mm. So even the People's Choice Award for album of the year was like special for me because as soon as he announced it, I was like, yeah, we did that shit, you know. So I got that shit framed up on my wall as I do with all my other awards you know and hopefully this year I go four for four with another Steam Town Musical Award. That's what it's so. called, bro. I hope you do that. Um, I'm great. Out of all your songs you've dropped, which one means the most to you? I've been going through them. I saw songs with Ty. I want to know which one that means the new, uh, means a lot to you. The song, I say the songs because there's a, uh, it's plural because I have songs, multiple songs. 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 Many songs. Um, that mean a lot to me. And the songs that mean a lot to me are the ones that I've written about my girl. Oh, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, every singing song, every love song, every, like, happy song that I got melodic vocals in is inspired by her. So those are the songs that mean the most to me. My rap songs and my features, they're special because of the people I worked with. But the songs that are most special to me, the ones that are close to my heart, are the ones that I made for her. The, the one that I liked a lot was the one on Facebook with the video. Uh, we, I went on, oh, right, we put that in the octopus, it was going crazy. The Poison it, remix. It, yeah, he was watching uh, the yeah. video, he was like, he's dancing with his family. It was, it was, Yo, I saw you shit. said you get dancing all your videos now. Bro, that <laughs> shit was hard, bro. Yeah, it definitely had hard. a lot of fun, bro. Hell yeah. Um, you've made songs with some people around here, and... um. Are there some people you'd like to make music with still around here? And what some people famous you'd definitely like to make music with? I'm going to start with my famous people. Like, off rip, like, this is, like, my main feature that I want. I want to feature with A Boogie so bad. Definitely. He's my favorite artist. Like, nobody can tell me nothing about A Boogie. I'll defend that nigga like they paying me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Like, anybody who's an A Boogie, I'll be like, what? You bugging? Have you heard this song? And then I'll start playing A Boogie. You know? <laughs> um... And then I want I want to do a song with Chris Brown. Like I want to do any anybody who sings like who got like really nice vocals. That's who I'm gonna work with. You know what I'm saying? So Chris Brown, uh, A Boogie, Lil T J, them niggas. You know what I mean? I feel you. Um, as far as people from around here, I definitely want to work with Guapo. I haven't worked. You with know, him. I'm about to have him in here. He was like, yeah, yeah, I haven't worked with Guapo yet. Um, I need another song with YPC time. Him and I, we're like fucking, when we get on the track together, hard, bro, bro yeah, it's bro. fucking insane. Um, I need another song with K. Him and I only have one song ever, and it was okay. off of my first. You like what he's doing with The Rock? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I fucking I was there yo. when he made a song, it was lit as fuck. Yo, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. I've heard exclusives. Like, was like, he's, yeah. he's doing good with that That's shit. Lit Shout as out fuck. to K. He was at my house when i was doing an interview and he made a cameo in that so big shout out to k That's he's nice. doing fucking big things um one more artist from around here that i would like to work with i don't know because i haven't really named everybody and i'm like really selective with the yeah. people i work with too so it's kind of hard to decipher between like who i want to work with who i don't want to work with just know there's a whole bunch of people out there that I would love to work That's with, right. and if given the opportunity, I definitely would. That's what it's for. That's like that you you still make music with people out here. Yeah, bro. Here. Like I mean, like who am I? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not like somebody big yet to be like, oh, I can't make music with you because I'm at this certain level in my career. Like eventually I'm gonna get there, and eventually I'm not gonna have a choice but to say that. And that's what some people don't understand. Yeah. The label's gonna require me to say no to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. My manager's gonna require me to say no to a lot of things. People are gonna have to start paying me for a lot yeah, of things. Fact. You feel what I'm saying? Like things are not gonna come free no more. To an extent. Yeah. For certain people. Definitely, like definitely. if I fuck with you, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull strings. Man, like, that be, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But other than that, if I'm like if I don't have a choice, I'm gonna have to be like, yo, like this is this is it right here. This is what you you know what I'm saying. This is the price is whatever the case may be. People don't like that, but yeah. it's, it's, it's got to be done. Got it. It's, it's not even about tough love. It's about business. You feel what I'm saying? Because right now I'm under a label, so if somebody wants to do a song with me, I'm somewhat required to send my feature EPK out so they know like the feature prices. And if they don't want to work, then that's on them. That just shows that they're not a yeah, serious exactly. inquirer. 
I had somebody do that to me the other day and it took them a month and a half to get back to me uh, only for them to say, I'm good fam. Okay, bro. Like, yeah, I don't, they don't have to I'm not going to pause for you. Mm -hmm. Like, this was a month and a half ago. I don't yeah. care. You know I mean, there's other people who want to work with me who are willing. Yeah. You know, like, so. It's just fuck you got people out here paying for the features. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I've I've paid for a feature out here before yeah, yeah, yeah. from somebody local, and I didn't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. And now him and I have a great relationship. That's what it's you know what I'm saying? That's how it off. Yeah. Um, last question is I ask everyone, are you scooby or boobity? Boobity is a, uh, it's a bad thing, but, you know, bad means good sometimes, and you feel me? So, positivity and boobity, feel me? Alright, so, I'm a little bit of a mixture of both. <laughs> yeah. Facts, like, I got, I got a bad side when I have yeah, to, mm -hmm. and then, I'm more of, like, a positive person because... I like to be at peace. I don't yeah. like people fucking with me. Like, I don't like people getting in my comfort zone. So, like, that's where the peace aspect comes from. But if I have to get out of character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you lose that booby size. Yeah, baby. Scooby, booby, doobie. That means a doobie. That's when we smoke. A doobie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We smoke a lot, you doobie. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you go check out all his music. All the platforms will be in the description and right here. Thank you for watching. Big fucking Scooby. Scooby.